What is going on everybody? Hackfire 13 here. Welcome back to another movie pickup. Now, um, uh, I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, about eight titles today. And uh, actually, I forgot one that I put up on the shelf, so I'm going to grab that right now. Okay. That makes it nine. Now I feel complete. Okay, one of these I picked up the other day, then the rest I actually picked up yesterday, so we're just gonna get, gonna go right down the line. The first two are actually 4Ks, and uh, yes, yeah, so the first one up is Bad Mammy Yens on 4K, I got for 15 bucks, and uh, by far the greatest origin superhero movie ever made. Um, I'm ex beyond excited to see how this 4K looks. Um, what can I say about this movie that hasn't already been said? Um, now I just need The Dark Knight Rises on 4K, then I've completed the whole trilogy on 4K, so, yeah. Then next up is Ant-Man and the Wasp. Um, I traded some stuff in, and this was only 10 bucks, so I figured I might as well spend the rest. I mean, I'm not going to get this for 10 bucks anywhere else, on, especially on 4K. You know, Ant-Man and the Wasp, it, well, I don't think it was, like, much better than the first one. I think the first one's a little bit better, but, um, you know, it still is enjoyable. Um, I still like it, so, you know, there you go. And 10 bucks on 4K, you know, it's like, why not? And the next one up is another superhero movie. It's Captain America the First Avenger. I actually never owned this. Um, I just picked up the Blu-ray because I know that they released the trilogy of Captain America movies on 4K, but I've heard they all really they don't look that different. So I figured, uh, whatever. But um, So now I have this in Civil War, and now I just need the Winter Soldier that I've completed. I'm trying to get all the Marvel movies, you know? So, um, yeah. Captain America First Avenger. As far as that movie goes, still, that is also one of the greatest origin uh, superhero movies ever made. Next one up is the mind-bending edition of Total Recall, starring Arnold. Um, but um, Total Recall is awesome. Uh, if you guys haven't seen it, uh, you know there's so many great quotes that come out of it. And it's actually this case is actually a little bit beat up. It feels a little bit dirty, but I feel like I can clean that up. You know, at least the disc isn't. Well, this has some fingerprints. And it looks kind of dusty. Dusty. But, uh, from what I understand, it's hard to damage a Blu-ray disc, like, really hard, so. Well, if it doesn't work, it was only, like, $7, so, whatever. Anyway, next one up is the, uh, this is, I think, this is besides Dunkirk, the only Christopher Nolan movie that I didn't own, and the only Christopher Nolan movie that I haven't seen. And this is The Prestige. This is about, this has Hugh Jackman and Christian Bale, and they play magicians, and they, like, they kind of take it too far. But I've actually never seen it, I'm really excited to check it out. Um, like I said, this and Dun this, this Dunkirk is now the only movie... I've seen Dunkirk, but I don't own it. I didn't think Dunkirk was really anything special. It's kind of like my least favorite Nolan movie, but I'm um, really excited to check this one out. And uh, yeah, because I've heard great things, so. Okay, next one up is Black Hawk Down, another movie I've never seen, directed by Ridley Scott, starring Ewan McGregor. Uh, who else? Tom Seasmore, Eric Bana. William uh, Finch, uh, Fincher, and um, yeah, this is about like basically um, in 1993, uh, a bunch of American Rangers basically are sent to Somalia on a critical mission to capture a violent warlord whose corrupt regimen has led to the starvation of hundreds of thousands of Salamians, and um, basically the mission goes wrong and they have to fight for their lives. Um, I've heard that this is a really good war movie, you know, it's like one of the best out there, so I'm really excited to check this one out. And, uh, yeah, leave no man behind is the tagline. Okay, next one up is a movie that came out not too long ago. It came out 2000, um, I think this is 2016. I'm not entirely sure, though. Yeah, 2016. Stars Chris, Bry Chris Pine, Jeff Bridges, Ben Foster. It's called Hell or High Rodder. I've heard that this is kind of like a heist movie. I've heard good things about it. But I've never actually checked it out myself, so I'm really excited to give it a watch. If you guys have seen it, let me think of it in the comments below. And I like heist movies, so this should be a good time. Next one up is another heist movie, directed by Spike Lee, starring Denzel Washington, called Inside Man. This is another movie I haven't seen. I picked up a lot of movies that I've never seen. But, um, yeah, Inside Man, I've heard it's like a, a, a heist movie, but it has a little twist in there. So I'm really excited to check that out. I like Denzel Washington and Spike Lee, so... You got Clive Owen in there as well as Jodie Foster, so I guess that's cool. Okay, 
And the last one, this is a little bit of a quick movie pickup today, only five minutes. You're going on five minutes right now? Okay. The last one is uh, The Running Man, uh, another Arnold movie. This actually is another, uh, this actually is a movie I haven't seen of Arnold's. And going into it, like reading it, I didn't know that this was a Stephen, uh, early story by Stephen King mainly because this doesn't just seem like a Stephen King, you know, it's just like, I don't think you can watch this movie and be like, you know what, the, you know, it seems like Stephen King wrote that, you know, it just, just doesn't, but, you know, I'm really excited to see it. Uh, if you guys have seen this, I mean, think of it in the comments below, but as far as all that goes, this does it for our movie pickup. Um, this is really all I got. I didn't really get a lot, but, um, yeah, let me know what you think of all these titles in the comments below, and, um, yeah. Uh, look forward to my review for Godzilla King of the Monsters today, as well as this video. And if you guys enjoyed the video, please like, subscribe, share the channel with your friends, hit the notification bell so you never miss an upload. And I'll see you guys in the next video.